right, guys, let's start on that truck right there, please. So this is West Palm Beach, night two, hometown show for me, a little crazy. But tomorrow is break time, midway point in the tour. Tomorrow we go home for the first time in two months. This is the last day. Yeah. Yeah. But well, we've always talked about having a little rehearsal room, and so this year we got together this situation, little mixing board, and, and we, all seven of us can fit in here. It's kind of like the old days, you know, I mean, we used to practice down in uh, Dave's basement um, back in the old days, and it kind of feels like that, you know. It's nice because we don't really get this sort of time as an ensemble uh, other than on stage. Seeming just get together for half hour and come up with some tricky little number, you know, or come up with a segue or try something different. Well, it does that the first time. With two horns, I tend to have to voice things harmonically a certain way so it doesn't sound too thin. And when we add a third voice, then I kind of have liberty to kind of you know, stretch stuff out and voice things a little differently. LaSim Richards plays with a lot of groups down here, and we do a lot of recording work together. We were in the high school band, and uh, he's been my best friend ever since. C. Oh, yeah. Do I know? Wait, maybe we can three-part harmony that. So you start on G, yeah. Exactly, let's try that. Trumpet or saxophone wouldn't have been the right timbre to play that note. So when we had the trombone, I was like, ooh, yeah. go in there and, and take care of the sound check needs, rehearse uh, anything. And there's stuff that we recorded that's never made the album, which we debuted here in Florida. It's a song called Blackjack. It's a really fun song to play, but it has a sort of menacing chorus, a sort of threatening, um, some sort of violence. moment, I'm kind of just shooting words from, from the hips. Yeah, Dave never wrote lyrics to it. It's just funny, and he was just like, I don't care, let's play it. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Blackjack squared. Oh! It's a, it has arrived, motherfuckers! <laughs> Telepathy, you know, you sort of uh, st start to be able to anticipate each other and and guess where someone is most likely to go um, without having to think about it. And so, so that's a really wonderful thing. It's different when you have somebody come on stage that isn't part of the band, even if they're a friend like Warren Haynes. Uh, so we're going to really make a nice big space for him. We have great fortune to play with a lot of great musicians and and in front of a lot of great people, but no one higher on that list or that's given us more support than Mr. Warren Haynes, and we'd like him to come out and play with us. Yeah, yeah. So, BT will take a short little show at the end there, and then, yeah, and then we'll bring it, and then we'll, and then, then we'll, you know, I'll just lay down.
When I first heard the music, I was really um, probably most drawn to the fact that it was unconventional. You know, they weren't trying to be anything. They were just doing what they did. It happened to be unique and have a sound of its own. To me, that's one of my favorite art forms is when people are having a musical conversation. Sometimes they're talking on top of each other. Sometimes it's question and answer. Sometimes it's one person speaking. Um, but it's one of those things that you have to get lost in the moment. If you start thinking about it, it, it all kind of crumbles. Times, as cliche as it sounds, there are times like that when the music's kind of playing itself and you're just like surfing, you're just riding this wave, you know. And again, you just can't stop and think, you just have to go with it. I think our band is very good. I mean, we're, we're very cooperative, how we play together and um, how we support each other. We've played you know, 80 songs this tour. I mean, I think about when we were last here a bit and what we played last night or the night before, depending, it doesn't even matter if we're in the same place or not. And then also what's comfortable. So why last stop tonight? I know that a lot of people are like, why don't they play that song? We always want it. But if I'm not feeling that song, if I don't believe it, then I can't go to sing it. So if I'm not feeling a certain song at the time that people are saying, we want to hear that, it makes it feel disingenuous to me. When I see a band that like gets in a circle and then they have like a, who who's, who's flaw? And they do something like, you know, a, a song or whatever kind of thing. I kind of am like, be awesome. or they get together and they pray together or something. I kind of, you know, like, wow, you know, that'd be kind of nice. But then neither of those things would suit me. Jeff has sort of uh, forced a, a ritual uh, of drinking these juices. He makes these juices from vegetables and fruits. The parfait style. The mint and the green with the chocolate, really nice. And a little uh, sriracha on the top. Just kind of, there you have it, it's juice time. Tim has a small glass of this colorful juice. Carter has a very big glass of the colorful juice, sometimes more than one. And I have fairly impressive glass. Fonzie has a squeezy exercise ball and he toasts with that, he doesn't want the juice. You know, and then save our hasa and our prayers for when we're on stage.